And she is off to Inazuma? <laughs> I must say, Paimon is in surprisingly good shape despite her love for food. But I digress. Traveler, you have no idea of how glad I am to have you here again. <laughs> no need to apologize. Why should you in the first place? I have received news about your journey in Sumeru, and, to be honest, it should have been me feeling sorry. Not you. For another of I's puppets to cause such chaos. I can't help but think what would have happened if I had stopped I from creating all those puppets. Hmm. But at least this one seems to have some humanity left in him. <laughs> oh, don't say that. Just because they are puppets, it doesn't mean they have no humanity. Well, I may or may not have been present back then. While A was crafting them, and... You know, I am a mischievous kitsune after all. <laughs> oh my, is he blushing already? <laughs> you have no idea how long I've been waiting for you to return, traveler. Even while we were training in order to beat the Muso Shinsetsu. You couldn't help but move your eyes away from me. I don't know where his sister is, and that saddens me incredibly. I would love to help him so much more, but even I don't know how to find someone from another world. Everything that I can do is to make sure that I can keep him safe. Like I have done with I, waiting for someone to set her free. But... I can't deny how much I have been longing for his return, and how good his glances are making me feel. <laughs> What's the matter? I mean, if you want to touch my tail, you are allowed to. Something soft and fluffy is always going to help ease someone's tension, isn't it? Oh, come on. Don't try to deny it. <laughs> Are you scared to be doing something inappropriate in front of a shrine? Traveler, I'm the high priestess of this shrine, and besides, haven't you noticed how there is no other priestess around today? You see, since it's always better to be safer than sorry, I couldn't risk any Fatui to listen to us, too. <laughs> Me? Wanting to be all alone with you? Well, we are friends after all. Is it so bad that I want to spend some alone time with a close friend of mine? Right. It's not something bad. Not at all. As I have told you already, I'm really sorry for not being able to help you in finding your sister. But please, don't take that as I don't want to help you, Traveler. As long as it's in my capabilities, I'm going to do everything in order to help you. Oh yes, this is a really sunny day, isn't it? The Sakura trees are magnificent. You can see the light shining through the petals. Well, yes, I am sweating a little bit. What's the problem? Are you perhaps worried about me, Traveler? Or is the feel of little droplets of sweat running down my shoulders a little too much of a feel for you? <laughs> Don't worry. Here. Let's take cover under the trees. Hey, don't look away from me. Come here. No, I don't care if it's far too hot. I'm going to cuddle you up anyways.
Relax, traveler. As I have said earlier, I want to help you in any way I can. For example, what is that bruise on your left cheek? Here, let me have a good look at it. <laughs> Licking a bruise doesn't actually help it heal. Well, only if you get licked by a kitsune, that is. <laughs> I want to take really good care of you, traveler. In my own special ways, that is. <laughs> I know. I know. We are both sweating like crazy. But that only means that I have an ulterior motive to lick all over your beautiful face. <laughs> it would be bad for a bruise to get infected by some droplets of sweat, wouldn't it? <laughs> yes, I am teasing you, silly. Is it such a bad thing? As a priestess, I would be really protective by nature, but <laughs> you got so unlucky to find that one high priestess who is also a kitsune. Kitsunes are the most protective of the semi deities. And even if I am not showing them off right now, I have nine tails. That means that I'm gonna take extremely good care of you. Oh, such an unlucky man you are. <laughs> Don't worry, it was Paimon who told me about your stubbornness in regards to not taking any rest. She is not going to interrupt us, that's for sure. But still, this heat is really getting to me. I need to loosen my kimono just a tiny little bit. <sighs> this is so much better. <laughs> What's the matter? Is my sweaty cleavage really that ugly that you don't want to look at it? <laughs> relax. How many times do I need to tell you to relax? And besides, you wouldn't want this little kitsune to get a heat stroke, would you? Okay, let's change the rule now. Here, lay on my thighs. They are slightly sweaty, but I think you are not going to dislike them anyways. <laughs> Come on, be a good boy and let me take care of you. You have no idea how long I have been longing for your return, Traveler. After you have freed A from her prison, I could only watch from afar while she began to taking her first steps in this new age. Must be feeling like being in a new world altogether. And I think you are well acquainted with that sensation, aren't you? Oh, sorry. I didn't think my sweat could drop from my cleavage and onto your cheeks. Here, let me brush it off. Hey, traveler. You have a beautiful face. Do you know that? I could stare at it for hours. But to get back to A's situation, 
don't think she hasn't come here to get a comforting hug from this kitsune. <laughs> Actually, she has left not too long before you have arrived. Oh, that? That's a first. No, no. It wasn't an inappropriate question at all. And, yes. Perhaps I am in need of a comforting hug myself. The real question here is, I am the one doing the pampering here. Are you sure to be a good enough hugger? I mean, what would you suggest? Because, I swear to the Archons, I am not going to stop taking care of you. <laughs> Oh, that sounds like a really good idea. Yes, we can lay on the grass instead of just sitting on it. And we can hug each other. <laughs> okay, I am curious now. Okay, now let me just lay next to you. And get ready. I am going to go all out in order to pamper you. <laughs> what do I mean? Just a moment. Oh my. Are you surprised to see me showing all of my nine tails, traveler? <laughs> this will only give you more reasons to comfort me, won't it? After all. It's going to be so hard for me to keep them out for all this whole time. Well, I might actually not need any rest because keeping them hidden is just to prevent me from breaking anything while I'm taking care of my duties here at the shrine. But please, play along with me, okay? Oh my, perhaps you are not that bad as a hugger after all. <laughs> Don't worry, I am still a nine-tailed kitsune, remember? Even if we are comforting each other, I am still going to be the one doing most of the work. <laughs> you are so cute, traveler. Don't you get it that even just comforting you is enough to brighten my day? Teasing you so much. It's just my way of showing how much I care about you. I wouldn't be teasing you if I wasn't seeing you as much more than just a really dear friend. Especially this much. The High Priestess of the Shrine wouldn't have anything more than friends, but... I was the one to plant the sacred Sakura's trees all those years ago. And as Yaimiko, the Kitsune, I wouldn't mind being more than just friends with you, Traveler. Even if I am smothering you with all of my sweaty cleavage and... Well, you are from another world. So, I might not even be that much older than you. Maybe we are even the same age. Who knows? Don't take this Kitsune's word as nothing but a joking mannerism, traveler. This is my very own way of showing off my feelings to someone else. Being this close to one another. Wild foxes are used to spending time with even just their friends rolling around in the grass. We may not be rolling, but I do feel like I am going back in time now. When both me and I were nothing but children. I feel like... I feel... Like if I am where I'm supposed to be when I'm around you, Traveler. I won't be able to accompany you on your adventures, but 
Whenever you will be in need of a safe place, just remember that you will always be welcome in Inazuma, in this shrine, and of course, in my embrace. Guess you really are capable of comforting me, traveler. So let's just spend some time here, under the sakura trees, just the two of us. And if you are ever going to be ready for something more than just cuddling and kissing, just let me know. I will be here. I'm waiting for you. <laughs>